Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here today with another Tatty Treasure Tuesday. That's where I recreate one of Tanya over at Tatty Treasures projects. And today I've decided to make some clusters. Uh, yeah, she made some clusters that were slightly different to ones I've made. She used some butterfly buttons. And yeah. So when she did that video, I bought some butterfly buttons and I've never used them. So let's crack on and make some. Right, I've got some various bits. I've got this bag that's got some seam binding, some of that leaf trim and some eyelash trim. I might use bits of that. And if you watched my last video, you would have seen I've got these scraps of fabric. I bought these from Amazon and I've never done anything with them. A lot of them are not... Yeah, they're not, yeah. Well, they're small pieces and some of them are lovely. Others are not my style. So what I'm going to try and do is match some of these colours to a butter, to a button, butterfly button. I'm into butterflies at the minute. And then I'll use some of those in the clusters. I mean, these purple ones are really pretty. And we do have some butterflies. I think that one will go on there lovely. And, yeah. Some of these colours I'm not too keen on but I can always paint over them I can use them for something else I really like the pink ones I do quite like those so we'll do a couple of those and I want something that will go nice with pink ones I've got lots of neutral scraps in a box but I want something that really sets that butterfly off and you keep telling me you love seeing me have a rummage so might be nice. Got this little ditzy print. That's quite pretty. That could go low. Yeah, they're going to be lovely with pink buttons, aren't they? What else have we got? That's very. Oh, I think that might go really nice with these green buttons. Oh, yeah. I don't know, the more I look at these, the more I think, yeah, I will get more use out of these bits of fabric than I initially thought. I can't get that one apart from one below it. Don't know about that one. So we've got those for starters. I'm in shock. I've zoomed in a bit close because I'm going to be sewing. Now, I do like this butterfly. I don't know what's on it. It's just a random pattern and I can see that peeping out. And yeah, we're obviously going to have some more neutrals. So it's not going to be just that butterfly on that fabric. But I do like that on there. There's a very similar one to that as well that's got some more green in. Let's have a in fact that would go on there nicely. Yeah, they go lovely. What's this one I've just discovered? I think this is a I don't know if it's hundred different types or I haven't got a clue and I'm not counting them. Oh I like that one. Oh look at that. That is they are just perfect colours. Perfect colours. So I think we've got plenty to get going with there, haven't we? We aren't rummaging any further. Oh, what's this one I've just seen? <laughs> I'll be like this. Oh, 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 look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's very similar to that. We'll keep that one out. Oh, and that. Stop it because you can say, oh, 100 times if you've got 100 different types of fabric. But they are pretty good, these, if you just want a, a random selection of fabric. I don't really buy a lot of fabric. I buy fabric for a particular reason. I don't tend to buy lots of different types. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to grab my little pointy scissors. I'll just move. I don't know if they're out of shot. But we'll work on this green one for starters. I'm just going to snip and rip. I think this would rip into four pieces. Lovely. Yeah. They might be a bit bigger, don't know. She says, I've been done it all. No, but the butterflies are quite big, so we can have quite a large cluster, can't we? We'll try some smaller ones with some others. I like that. So we want some neutrals. I did grab this one piece of, it's a cream ribbon. It shows up nicely with background on that being white. I'm just going to snip some bits. Uh, 
put these together in fours. Right, let's have a look in here. Oh, this, wait till you see this. Da, 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 da. I don't know if I've ever showed this on camera before. Da, da. Oh, wow, that's just got everything in. So I just want to grab some neutrals. Oh, we've got some bits of coloured. Oh, a little coffee dyed doily. That's all, oh, that's got some lace on the other side. I don't know if I'd use that though. Some more of that ribbon. Some more random bits of hessian. I'm not going to be too neat with these and too precious. I do sell clusters in my shop and they are all, they're very, they're not uniform. Each one is very random, but so I can keep replenishing them without having to retake photos too often. The, everything is neutral. But I do think they're quite useful because if you've got something that's neutral, you can put it on any project, can't you? So I'm just grabbing random bits. Lord knows what we're doing with that. Oh, look at that, a ruffle. I've sewn a ruffle. Oh, some bits of rodery angle. Eh? Oh, how long's that piece? We'll have that. Oh, oh yeah, I've got those, the Edith Holden fabric, haven't I? I'm not going to use it. I just want to grab some neutral bits out of it. Oh, a bit of gauze, that'll be nice. And I want to just use this stuff rather than adding to it. What's that? A random piece of tea bag. I don't think I want tea bag on. A little bit more net, royal type stuff. Just all sorts. It just some people are probably looking at this thinking, what on earth is she keeping that for? Because I want to. <laughs> they're, they're good. Yep. If you try and cut things up random, it never quite happens. If you've already got the random things. Oh, that's a long piece of that ribbon. So I think that might be enough. I was just trying to make some lacy flowers at some point, weren't I? And they were not too successful by the looks of that. Oh, there's a, some kind of, I think that's a bit too green for today. Oh, there are a few more doilies. Oh, a butterfly. Oh, half a butterfly. Poor butterfly. Right, I'm going to stop rummaging in there. We've got enough. I only wanted some neutrals out of there. Let's see if we can shut it without everything hanging out. Not too bad. Pop you over there again, mate. Right, so we've got a piece of fabric. Another piece. A piece of very random hessian some of this lace and a butterfly. I'll snip them off after. That's it, it's done. I'm going to sew it. I just want to snip them off because they're too long. There's a bit of randomness and then there's just sheer tattiness, isn't there? So, I've grabbed some very neutral cotton that will match them all. It's just a, a beige. I'm just going to sew them together. I might put some eyelash trim on. If I do, I like to wrap it round the button. I just like the look of it. Oh, let's get a needle. That would be a good start. That one looks good. I can't thread a needle to save my life without a needle threader. So this is my needle threader. When I first bought it, I thought, what on earth? This is a faff. How on earth are you supposed to be able to use this? Once you get used to it, it's so quick and easy. AliExpress or Amazon, tums a bucket full. Right, oh, I do like that. Let's just move you a bit near its centre. Yeah. So I like to I thread my needle like you do. If you're familiar with cross stitch, a lot of cross stitches thread the needle like I do. Up, back in. It's double, but you've got a loop there to put your cotton through. There we go. And I'm just going to go around to go through two or three times. <laughs> oh, so it on camera. The holes in these butterflies are not very large. I am noticing not as large as the holes in other buttons I've used for clusters. So that can make it a little bit tricky. Plus my cotton keeps getting stuck on these bits of Essien and lace. So, let's 
So one more. The foam is there somewhere. I might have to resort to a piece of foam to help me sew this. I'm thinking what on earth is Sean about? I don't think I've got one to hand. I, I didn't plan too well, but hey, what's new with me? I just sometimes have a piece of foam on the desk. It's easy to, you know, when you're stabbing, trying to find the right place. I put that one on back to front now you know it's actually lovely on both sides this fabric so what i then do is i go in and i come up under the button and i wrap around a couple of times i think again this is something that harks back to doing cross stitch you want the back to look as neat as the front so i wrap that a few times snip it off and then i just glue it with some art glitter or cosmic shimmer that's going nowhere so there we have one cluster really like that it's very colorful for me that isn't it i do tend to get a bit stuck in my browns and beiges or just basic pinks oh i really like that i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put the other one of each color together and sew it off camera i don't know why i'm doing two of each i just am it's, I don't know why. Oh, we got two different green buttons, didn't we? Oh, I think I want a little bit of this. Slightly different colour hessian on that. Yeah, that's pretty. So we'll pop that one off camera and let's move on. Let's do a pink one. Yeah, I like the size of this. these in four i think i'll do one of each fabric this time and i'm not doing them exact some have come out bigger than others they're not cut perfectly on the grain these pieces so i'm not getting square pieces but that just adds i think to the randomness of them yeah i'm, I'm back on randomness too much precision going off with the alice junk journal that i need another random project I think I want to use, I'll use that one underneath, then one of those on top, I think, just like that, so I'm going to end up with four here, there's no way I'm going to sew four on camera, not clearing, just not, I'll be here while Christmas, so we want, again we want something neutral, shall I put a doily on? What would a doily look like? <laughs> I can't pick the button up. Oh, I think that'd look good. It needs something else underneath, of course. But I'm quite liking the look of that doily. That's too big. Far too big. It needs hessian. Let's cut a piece off here. Cut that really curly bit off because I don't like it I do I like that so that's going like that thread another needle congratulate myself for not losing the needle I'm so good at doing that then you find it on the floor with your foot Oops, that's the throat needle threader around. <laughs> Why am I sewing when I've got butter fingers? Well, again, if you can manage to make these with butter fingers, you can manage to make them anytime, can't you? Do you know, I'm, I know I said I'm being random, but I do think that might look better on the smaller piece of fabric. Does it? I don't know now. No, I'm going to keep it on the larger one. So that was just a pointless exercise, that, weren't it? Yeah, quite like that on a doily. It's going to be quite a chunky cluster then, this one. Because those crocheted doilers are not very thin. They're quite chunky. But I like it. 
Bang. It's good we've gone all dull again today, here with the weather. Bright sunshine yesterday, and today it's gone quite dull. We even had some rain. I'm not complaining though. It means I can see in my craft room because I still do not have a curtain. I've got this mental block. I know, stashed away in my, I know where it is actually, I'll probably never find, never get to it, stashed away in those, you know those plastic storage bags that you then suck all the air out of? Well I've got uh, all our quilts in there, winter quilts, and curtains that you think, oh, I had a lot of curtains in this house when I first moved in without curtain rails but then when I got the proper curtain rails put up I bought longer curtains for the outside of the window not not outside the house, you know what I mean rather than inside the recess of the window I got curtains on the outside but the other curtains were still good curtains so I, yeah, I stuffed them in these bags <sighs> yeah, they're all under my bed I've got one of those storage beds yeah, and you put the stuff in the bag, yeah, you do, and then you suck all the air out, yeah, you do, then you feed it through this tiny little letterbox size window at the bottom of your bed, it's like a sliding door I've got, and then the air starts to seep back in, and then you can't get the bag out from under your bed, so somehow... This is going to be a, what it kids is going to have to help me do this. I'm going to have to find the part where you suck the hair, the air out. There I am, pretty itch is where they don't go, hair. Find the bit where you suck the air out, get the over inside under the bed and suck the air out again so I can get the bag out from under the bed. Oh, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Right, I've already nicked a piece of this somewhere along the line, so we'll make... three out of that so yeah and I have a feeling that is where my curtain is so that's not gonna be coming out anytime soon so I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and actually buy a curtain or buy some fabric and make a curtain but then it's like to save time I may as well buy the curtain it's a very small window it's not gonna break bank oh yeah so what did I start off rambling about there? I'm not quite sure. I think I want to piece this broadery angle on here. So let's snip a bit of that off. That looks pretty with this purple. Oh, that rip. Oh, it would have been better cut because there's all that stitching within it, isn't there? So we've got that. Oh, I like that. And we want a bit of lace. Oh, no, I don't want gold in this. It just won't go. Yeah, we'll pop a bit of this lace on that we cut. Do I want it over that? Or under it? I don't know. I just know I quite like these. Again, very colourful for me. Some more cotton. Yeah, I've still not lost my needle. I was just about to say I've lost my needle, then I spotted it. <laughs> Yeah, these, again, these are quite relaxing to make. Put your needle down while you set your needle thread up, woman. Am I doing? Yeah. I'm doing okay staying in shot. There we go. Yeah, I think these are quite, quite pretty. But you could turn them into anything you want after you've made them. They could just be clusters on something. Stick them up front of a journal on a pocket. Turn them into dangles if you made the back nice and neat. But you could always put a circle of felt or if your sewing on the back isn't neat, just put a circle of felt or some another piece of fabric glued over it. There we go. Yeah. 
can make them into anything, altered paper clips, bookmarks even. This would look pretty on it, sticking out at the top of your book, one of these. Right, back through, back, out under that wing. A couple of wraps round. Snip and glue. You've got more room to glue on these as well. That's wrong glue. I like to use the actual art glitter on these because it'll stick anything and it dries very quickly. So there we have another one. I think we're doing pretty good with these. I'm dying to do this one. I haven't even gone as far as making others up. I'm just doing one of each colour now, aren't I? Oh wow, they look so well. Very autumnal. It's got the browns and it's got that, yeah, what's that colour? Like a duck egg, teal, turquoise colour. Really pretty. This will look good with some of this. This brown. I see in ribbon. I did have, I got something out yesterday that I was going to use on... Yes, I was going to use on a project and didn't. I don't. You'll have noticed that with me all the time, because mostly I don't. I don't have time to practice doing off video what I'm going to do on video. So I'll decide on all these things I might use, and then I change my mind and don't use them. This, but I got something else, didn't I? It was like that cream, a different colour of hessian. But then again, if I start cutting into that, it defeats the object of using up these scraps. Did you hear the little, just a baby craft lunch? It's too much of a honey colour anyway, I don't like it. But, I just no, no, I'm not doing it. I'm sticking what I've got, I'm using what's here. Stop it, woman. I think I just want a couple of pieces of that same one for these, but then it's so pretty. Did we have another one? Oh, we've come out. I'm thinking I want some brown underneath it. So I'm just going to grab this stack and have a look if we've got anything suitable. I want some. Ooh. ooh. Contender. That's a contender, but we don't know. I've got this upside down. I've just mixed them all up because my nightmare. Oh, what about a bit of <laughs> leopard print? I don't think so. Not on this project. Leopard print's not for me. Oh, we've got some little nautical themed pieces there. Is it nautical or is it? I can't tell. I don't know. Cute little rabbits. Oh, I love that. But I think for brown, that is going to be about it. Those stripes. Yeah, like I said, the good little bundles, they, but they're not they're not full of things that all coordinate with each other. They are completely and utterly random. Now I'm I couldn't have that on top, but I think layered underneath. I might actually like this stripe. We'll see. I might not. I don't like it, I won't use it. Nobody's twisting my arm, are they? Let's see. Yes, I like it. I do. I like it underneath the other. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's put three out of the way to make up later. Tidy these off. Yeah. And then a piece of this. Just snipped it. A bit more lace, I think. I haven't got any separate cream lace snip uh, off cuts because I put them all together ready for making the clusters that go in my Etsy shop. I think I might have a little bit of this netting on as well. Oh, about gold. No, I don't think gold is going to go on it. 
I couldn't see the netting then. It, it looked like, yeah, netting. What netting? I bet you can't even see I'm holding anything. I assure you, there is something here. I'm going to put that. Where do I want it? I want it underneath the whole lot. There, there, there. There. Oh, that's pretty. I really like that stripe in the background. Cotton. There you go. Cooking with gas with these, aren't we? I could, I could just sit here making these all night. I really could. I don't think I'll be able to, though, because I've got Becca cooking tea again. It's like, oh, I feel rather guilty sometimes about the amount of cooking that girl's doing. But she absolutely loves it. I've got a sneaky feeling she'll end up doing something along those lines. So, yeah. But we're, we're having cowboy pie today. Cowboy pie? Uh, what is it? It's, uh, there's mashed potatoes in it, smoked sausage, uh, a few different kinds of beans and cheese. Ooh, served with... Does it, I think it's got some, yeah, what's that broccoli with long stems, tender stem broccoli is it? Yeah, I think that's it. Again, it's one of the set meals from HelloFresh. So anyone else who's having HelloFresh may be having the same thing for tea. Well, no, actually, they would have had to order the same meal on the same week and decide to have it on the same day. <clears throat> Excuse me. So chances of that are pretty slim. But someone out there might have had it this week. But I'm really loving HelloFresh. It's just a pity that once our trial is up, it's just not in my price range. Really isn't. If I were, yeah, rewind before I had my kids, yeah, I'd have done it. Oh, yeah, I'd have had it all the time. It just takes all the thought away from what you're going to have for tea. But when you've got two teenagers that eat like four teenagers, yeah, it's not doable. But we're going to try goose gusto. Yeah. Yeah. And then any other? I think I said this in the video yesterday. Yeah, I'll have a message from Tanya saying you said that like yesterday, Julie. Okay. But people listening today might have not watched yesterday, eh? So, to them, I'm not repeating myself. Yeah, I seem to have done the last few days' of work. And chill. We didn't watch The Hunger Games, Deborah, as I'd said we were going to watch. I said we'd already actually watched The Hunger Games. We've got all the films. Rachel bought me for Christmas a few years back. I was given money to go and get me something from. We're lucky that we live. We've got a co-op, a pretty decent sized co-op, or co-op, as Odin's call it in Yorkshire. And we've got another shop, which is just fabulous. It's like a, yeah, fabulous corner shop. That sell, well, it's not a corner shop. It sells everything, Dells, they call it. And it sells everything the co op doesn't. So they have a re, I think they have a good relationship. They all, you also can buy some co op products in this shop. Because so they're obviously open at times when co op aren't. Right, that's that one done. I'm really pleased with that one. That one's so pretty. Didn't go with others, but I'm not making these to go with each other. They're going to go on what they go on. Right, now I'm going to make one with this. Hmm. What are we doing? So yeah, anyway, I got the Hunger Games on DVD, but we've now since replaced them uh, on Amazon Prime so we can stream them. But Rachel's also got the books and the audio books. She's dyslexic, so fabulous way to help her with the reading is to listen to the audio book while she follows along in the actual book she's actually 
until she comes to write things down teachers are like wow can't believe she's dyslexic because her actual reading skills are fabulous it's the writing down of it where she has trouble so we've watched hunger games we've watched the second one in the trilogy catching fire and then there's a third book called the mockingjay and that was then made into two films mockingjay one and mockingjay two but i thought we were ready to watch the next one but we're not rachel is still reading the book so when she finishes the book <laughs> i can watch the films it's like oh can we not watch the first film when you're halfway through the book but no apparently because the films have messed up the timeline and they've missed things out so she wants to completely read the book before we watch the film and i'm itching to watch it and i can't until she's finished the book she got told off at school the other day for reading in maths <laughs> and she thinks it's very ironic that you get told off at school for reading but yes rachel you were supposed to be doing maths but i'd finish my maths but yes you could go back through your book and practice some maths skills that you're not quite 100 percent on yes but i'd done what the teacher told me to do but yeah it's, that conversation could have gone on for quite a while but i think she got there in end right let's make this one right, they're very similar these two aren't they these two colors i think i might what i've got two different button colors out for these didn't i yeah think I'm going to make some of these opposite way around like that one with the bit of pink in so actually I think I could use a different colour button on that one with a bit of pink in oh look, oh look at that that yellow one that looks good that does look good I think it might be that one that makes it to this some of the buttons are upside down I don't think I showed them you all Oh, we got that one. I didn't think I liked that button until I found that fabric for it. So you never know, do you? Sometimes you might not like something, but when you marry it with something else, that combination of them together, it's like, yeah, I like that. Look at that red one. I really don't have the fabric in that pack to go with that red button. So just pick a button, Julie, and shut up wittering. That, and I'm going to do them too. I'll decide on others later them two that's it that's what i'm doing so we'll grab some bits of neutral i think i might uh, put a bit of do you know i like that one we're edging on let's cut it down it's too big yeah something else as well though do you want a bit of that that wasn't just cream, it's got a little bit of a flower on there somewhere with a tiny little hint of pink. But I like that. Oh, I can smell my tea. I'm going to be getting told to turn the video off soon. Tea's ready. Oh, it smells absolutely gorgeous. I think that's enough on that one. Yeah, I do. And I think that just needs a bit of ribbon. Ribbon lace. I've been calling it ribbon all the way through. Maybe I have, I don't know. Oh, I love those two. And those two. Those three together. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to sew those two. So we've got needle, threader, needle. Wow. How I have not lost my needle is beyond me. So I'll just sew these other two. And how many have we made? We've made six. Not bad going. Not bad going at all. I've not put any eyelash trim on them. So I'll sew these two and then I might stick a bit of eyelash trim on a couple. Just to give them a little bit of zhuzh. Best needle thread in the world, that thing. Right. 
not stabbed myself yet either. I may have said that a bit too early. I've got two more to sew on, so hey ho. Ooh, go on, don't stab your finger. You know you don't wanna. I had a lovely lion this morning. My cat has taken to getting me up. At like five in the morning to go out. And when she wants to go out, she lets you know. No more meowing gently inside at bed. I think she just misses that bit out altogether now. She jumps straight up on bed, straight on top of you, and starts batting you in the face with a paw. So you can't ignore her. If you try and put covers over your head, put little paws then sneaking in. And it's like, oh. I will get up, Phoebe. Of course I will. Because I have got... I think my cat's really a dog. She won't use cat litter. <laughs> and she goes outside. She has a particular little place in the garden that we use as a cat litter box. That That is down to uh, a friend of mine taken in a stray cat she went to get this cat neutered this cat was phoebe's mother and found out that she was already pregnant and her dad at the time when the kittens were born had been made redundant from work so was at home 24 7 and he trained them to use soil outside in a particular spot instead of cat litter indoors which has always been fabulous until you go on holiday and someone's looking after a cat or as now she's getting older and if she's in at night she then can't hold it all night and she has to wake you up to go out <laughs> it's quite cute really <clears throat> it's it's not funny in the middle of winter at five o'clock in the morning but yeah in case she gets short we put those you know the puppy training mats down we put those down in the bathroom for her I wish I'd trained her to use the toilet, but then no, I don't, because I would I would have had to use the clean toilet before I used it then, knowing a cat had been on it. It's funny when you see them on YouTube where cats can use toilets, but I suppose in practice, not funny. So yeah, my cat thinks she's a dog, I think. But it's cute. She's been loving this warm weather the last few days. Because I'm obviously at home working, so I just keep back door open a little bit uh, so that she can wander in and out to her heart's content, sunbathe on patio, come in for a little chomp, sunbathe on patio, back in for a drink of milk, sunbathe on patio. There's a theme here, isn't there? She'll just suddenly randomly walk upstairs and meow at me i'll stroke her and then she'll wander back off outside again she's funny but she's it's she's in her retirement years now isn't she it's uh ooh, she'll be 19 in about three weeks yeah yeah again because it was my friend whose cat was a mum I know I do I know a birthday it's the same birthday as my dad's 16th of May and little Phoebe will be 19 wow <laughs> she's looking very raggy in her old age uh, at one point last year wow it must be more than a year because it were actually uh, one girls had had a friend over for tea her dad came to pick her up. When he knocked on the door and I opened it, Phoebe shot in and he was like, a stray cat's just running your house. I'm like, it's not a stray cat, it's my cat. <laughs> she just looks a little bit raggedy. Right, that's those sewn. So, there's the six I've made. Really loving those. Really loving those, but I still love those. So, but some of them definitely need something else. And I think what they need is a bit of eyelash trim. So, I've 
got some sparkly white there or is it cream it's cream i think that'll do from though oh i could could we, have these got enough pink on them do we think could it be a little bit over the top if i could decorate them with more pink i think it could we've got enough color i'm going to use the cream i don't know if i'm going to put it on them all i'll try it and see that i think that one needs a bit so again what i do with that is i peel it back i bob a bit of glue on i don't know how this is going to work under butterfly because it's very narrow there we'll see i'll glue it under his wing and then i just tend to wind it round and fluff it out as i go there we go and i forgot to fluff it out oh yeah it still looks fine and then i'll glue the other end again back under the wing I just want to know that this eyelash trim is not going to fall off. I wouldn't trust just sewing it on. And I don't want to be able to see this glue. So if we hide that under button. Yeah, oh, I like that. I really do. So if I just move it a bit. We've just got that little bit of sparkle. It just adds something. I don't know what it adds, but it adds something. I'll move that other glue because I keep wanting to pick it up. And I'll just do a couple of these. I think they might look nice with some chocolate brown eyelash trim, which I do have. Oh yeah, something I want to mention. It's... Perhaps it uh, would have been better mentioning it near the beginning of the video. I have mentioned I do sell eyelash trim in my video. And <clears throat> I had a lovely lady, Alison, if you're watching. She wanted to buy some and she lives in the States. And when you select one or two, well, any more than one really, eyelash trim from my shop, the postage comes out at a ridiculous amount. And I do say on most of my listings that I do combine the postage. Just message me for and I'll do your custom order. Or when you've paid, I'll just refund you the difference. Reason for that is on Etsy, I don't know if this problem is particular to me. But I sell items that are very heavy and I sell items that are very light. And what was happening before when I put that you could have a discount for a second item, it was charging the postage in the order, I think, of what people put them in the basket. So if someone bought, uh, say, some eyelash trim, and it does have to go large letter. So it's like the cheapest rate is £4, I think it is. So you'd buy one and it'd be £4. And for another one, yeah, you can send about five or six for that same amount. So I put it down that you could buy, I just put 10p because you have to put an amount for each subsequent one. But then if it went over into the next weight bracket, it were like costing me a lot more in postage. Or what were happening then is if you bought one length of eyelash trim, it would charge you four pounds. Then you'd buy, say, a box of straw paper, which I know it sounds mad, but it does cost almost £9 to send a box of straw paper. And it was like charging people £4.10p to send a box of straw paper and some eyelash trim. And it was costing me double that to send. So I had to put it down so that you don't get a discount on subsequent items. Yes, I'm losing business. I know I am. Because people who have not seen me say this and people who don't read the description won't know this. They'll just think that's a ridiculous amount of postage. We're not going to pay it. So, yeah, if you do want to buy anything from my shop, that is why. I do combine the postage, though, and I do refund the difference. Or I will do you a custom listing so it doesn't even charge you that ridiculous amount of postage in the first place. Yeah, Etsy, I think they need to get their act together with that. 
I've tried all different ways. I've messaged them about it in the past. And the only solution they give me is to give that discount on subsequent items, which is all well and good until someone buys a light item as the first item and then the subsequent one is very heavy. It still leaves me having to pay sometimes. It costs me more money. All my profit is eaten up in sending it. So that's that little whinge done at end. Well, not a whinge, a bit of an explanation. So there we have it. Tatty Treasure Tuesday. We've got some little clusters with little butterfly centres. I've really enjoyed making those. After I've had my cowboy pie, I'm going to finish making the others. So I'll link Tanya's original video so you can pop over there and have a look at Tanya's. I think she did them as part of her, was it the Woodland Wonders series? Yeah, I think it was. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.